Hey everyone, it's been a couple weeks, so I just want to check in with a little update. Joe had got me a gift certificate to Warby Parker um, for Christmas, so after my eye exam, I had gone over to the store and picked out a pair of glasses and a pair of sunglasses with my new prescription. Um, when they came in, I literally couldn't keep them on my face for more than like five minutes um, without getting like severely nauseous. And I reached out to um, my oncologist to see if this had been something um, that could possibly relate to my brain cancer because when I had my eye exam, the girl that did it, I got severely nauseous and had to pause the exam and get a drink of water during it, which had never happened to me before. And she basically told me it was because of my brain cancer. And when I checked with my oncologist, they're like, no, they searched through everything. They had seen nothing reported about this um, in any kind of study. So it sounds like either Warby Parker incorrectly um, made the glasses or more likely that um, the prescription is overcorrected. So I'm going back to Femway uh, to the optometry to um, get retested next week and hopefully we can get it sorted out. But I'm probably going to end up getting stuck with glasses I can't wear. My husband Joe is a jeweler and so he works, you know, closely with the public and it's cold season. Unfortunately, he got a pretty severe one and, you know, I've been with him for 20 plus years and, you know, he never calls out of work and he had to take a couple days off from work. So it was a pretty bad cold. So, you know, having just finished a chemo cycle, I was kind of ready to be sick and it took about a week, but it finally got me and um, I've just spent like the last few days really not being able to do very much and um, just slowly trying to come back to activity and feeling like myself, but also not wanting to expose other people. The crappiest part was I had to miss uh, Fit to Function Recoveries uh, monthly group class, um, which is always a highlight of every month. Um, but I just wasn't up to it. And that day I really realized by the afternoon that there was no possible way I could have been there. So I'm glad I took it easy and rested, but I did miss seeing everyone. I had a meeting with my neuro-oncologist, um, Nancy Wong over at MGH. And uh, we went over my MRI that I had done. And um, the radiologist, I'm not going to read um, my results anymore before I talk to her because it had talked about um, around the tumor resection site that there was a slight thickening of the wall and they didn't know if it was new growth or what. Um, but once I talked to her, it it's very normal after a tumor resection for the scar tissue to be able to form up or be a little aggravated, um, especially where I had radiation and am now doing chemo. Um, so it was very much in what she expected to see and um, she's not worried about it at all, but obviously going forward, we'll continue to monitor and um, check in. That being said, we'll do blood work for the next two weeks and looks like probably the second week of February, I'll be starting my fifth of six um, chemotherapy cycles. So um, I'm two thirds of the way through now. Um, and I'm excited to, you know, get closer to the finish line. <laughs> Speaking of finish lines and running, I am headed to the Boston Run Show this weekend. Um, on Sunday, Kyle, my friend, Brian Reynolds, um, Liz, who runs in the para division, um, and the people from uh, Taylor and everyone else from the BAA that runs the para division is having a panel there on Sunday. So I'm going over with one of Kyle's and my friend Alia um, to go see the panel and hopefully I'll get to see a few other people while I'm there. I'll definitely be masked up. Um, just have to while my immune system's compromised like this, but hopefully I'll see a bunch of you and I look forward to our next check-in. Um, I hope everyone's having a great um, beginning of their year and I'll talk to you soon.